Hello world, Ophelia here, and welcome back to Edna and Harvey. And, let's see. We've got the broken house key. We've got a door that will not open due to the key being broken. We've got the area over here, which there should be a window. I don't understand why we can't just like push this out of the way, but whatever. So actually, uh, is there's more tools tools in the shed. I probably missed one. Of course, the one that we need. You. Yes. All right. Let's do. This. Let's get into this house. Right. This will take care of the weeds. Mm hmm Perfect. Use the window. Oh no. It's jammed. On top of everything. Oh. Smash it open. Smash it open. Oh. Oh my gosh, that actually worked. Yes. Um We're in the basement. And there's mushrooms growing out of that pot. Oh wow, this is actually a fairly big house. Well, this would actually be a pretty nice house um, to fix all the peeling wallpaper and the slime and the leaves. There's a tree growing in here now too. Locked. That figures. That's gotta be our room then. Alright. There's gotta be a key somewhere. Mm. Ooh, a lighter. I wonder if it still works. My father never allowed me to play with it, but I can't see him anywhere. <sighs> Aww. It's actually really sad. Okay. Hey! This is a picture of me! Aww. So... Does the water in here still work? The water must have been turned off. Okay. <sighs> Looks like there's still some in the tub, though. Oof, bad memories in here. Actually, use the window. Just a second. There's only forest out there. Aw, oh, didn't there used to be, like, an amusement park or something? Or... Oh, this is so sad! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does the furnace down here still work? Use the furnace. We've got the key, we've got a lighter. We've got something to melt. We're gonna make another key. Okay. Um, we still need clay or mud or something. Uh, the hunt for clay never seems to end. Okay, there's gotta be some somewhere. Anything I can use? Ugh. 
Maybe he'll be of some use now after all those years of misery. But... Uh... We found the clay shards, which are much, much looking for them. Was freaking gnome. Okay, um... Alright. Um... They've been baked already! Okay. That's what we need the water for. Um... We are going to literally make a wet clay thing back up to the bathroom. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, I... I hope this is right. It's, it's gotta be right. Why else, why else would they still give us the pot and the pot holders? I think I could use some mud right now. Yes. Housekeep. I'll make an impression by pressing the individual parts into the clay. Great! It worked! Alright, back down to the furnace. Let's bake this. Come on. I want to get into that room. It's... I need to figure out what happens. Uh, later with furnace. Let's light it up. Let's see what this old furnace can do. Yes. What worked one time? Will obviously work again. Hot holders. Okay, and um... Yeah, we gotta melt the key. Okay, maybe this will help. Yes. I'm terribly sorry about this, but I have to melt down the master key again. Oh, well, hopefully we won't need it anymore. I mean, we shouldn't. We've already escaped, so... Children! The gold is ready! <laughs> mold into... Good idea! I'll pour the gold into the mold! Hmm. And... Back up into the bathroom. front door key my father didn't want me to have one that was to prevent you from escaping your room after all the same key fits the lock of your bedroom too awesome well not awesome that's kind of weird actually but let's see what's in here oh boy is that Moment of truth. This really is my old room. I've made it at last. The only thing I need now is my diary. Do you remember where I used to keep it, Harvey? Strange. This memory is still hazy. Mm. But I think with all these items here, it should be easy to tempo morph to the past one last time. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll just hide the diary someplace where I'll be able to find it in the present. Or we could just have a look at it right away. Even better. Mm -hmm. What are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, then. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Tempo morphing. It's been a while since we've done this. I can't believe it. What am I doing wrong with you? Putting a lizard down the back of poor Alfred's shirt. <laughs> Is this the way I raised you? <laughs> right. I can remember that. My dad grounded me. As if this door could ever contain us. We're only interested in the diary, Harv. Oh. Mr. Conrad! Ugh. Mr. Conrad! Great. Yep. The return of the moron. What's the matter, Alfred? Will you punish Edna now? I was about to do that, yes. 
She has to be severely punished. The monster bit me in the shoulder. I won't be able to play the violin ever again. Oh my Rest gosh. assured that the punishment will fit the crime, Alfred. You are so very annoying. I hope so. My dad says your disciplinary actions for reprimanding this hyperactive lunatic Thanks. <laughs> are, politely put, insufficient. Oh, so that's what he says. We should use a scorpion next time. If you don't mind, I would like to keep watch personally, just to make sure that her full penalty is served. Go ahead. And now come out of here, please. That stinking little weasel. Yeah. Just ignore him. Let's just try to find the diary. Is right here. Hey, there's my diary. Well, that's what I call easy. It's not like us to catch a break. Finally, I'll be able to remember. Yippee! Wait a second. When was this murder that my father is supposed to have committed? The Reverend said something about the 3rd of August. Did he? According to the diary, that's today! You've temple morphed me back to the day of the murder! Oops! No, no! This is, in fact, very good! Now we can prove his innocence firsthand! We'll just have to find him and never let him out of our sight! Let's get out of here! Finally, we can prove his innocence! But. Isn't, um. Hmm, locked. The window. Never hurts to use the window. Mm. We, we, Harvey can sneak out. Yes. Hello, Mr. Woodpecker. Watch. Oh, that's right. Like that's about it we can grab. Let us report back to Edna. Isn't Alfred the ultimate slime ball? That irritation of facial mucosa definitely needs a good wiping. Hey Edna, why don't you do what the woodpecker does? What do you mean? Shall I knock on the door to draw Alfred's attention? Oh. I was thinking you could bash your head against the wall, <laughs> but your plan isn't bad either. Uh, I think ours is a little better. Oh, we are... There we go. What is it? Alfred? Are you still out there? Edna's grounded! Edna's grounded! Stop that, will you? Uh. Oh, oh, but, uh. Come on, Harvey. <laughs> Stop it, or. Hmm? Hey! Where did she go? Did she climb out the window? That look on his face. Off the door. Okay, we better split up to find Mattis. I'll look upstairs, you look downstairs. And if I find him? You come and get me, of course. All right. Um, Edna? Yes, Harvey? 
What if Mattis really is a psychotic killer? Don't be ridiculous, Harvey. Mattis couldn't hurt a fly. It was just a thought. I didn't want to admit it to Edna, but I'm a little scared. Oh, don't worry, Harvey. Well, it's a... Uh... I'm sure he's not. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm sure he's not the killer, but um. Edna, Edna, Edna! What's up, Harvey? It's Mattis. He's making soup out of children. I don't know what you mean. I mean exactly what I just said. Mattis is the killer after all! Come on, let's go! But what's going on? I don't understand one single word. But he was here! He was standing at the oven and... Cooking children. Don't you realize how ridiculous that sounds? I... I must have been mistaken. Just go on looking, okay? What's going on here? Um... Perhaps since oh, <laughs> Edna, Edna, Edna. What now? I'm certain this time, Mattis is burning children in the furnace. <sighs> no, he's not, Harvey. Come with me! I'll prove it to you! This is... I don't get it! Are you alright, Harvey? I'm beginning to be more concerned about you. How can I be so mistaken? Can you lift me up a little? Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Why are... What is it this time? I... I don't know yet! It was Mattis again! Oh, come on. We'll both have a look. See? There's nothing there. I think we'd better call the whole thing off. It was an exhausting day. I might as well wait till tomorrow to restore my memory. No. Nope. The temple morphing doesn't seem to do you any good. No! I'll manage. Yeah, you will manage. Let's keep on looking. Uh, we've come this far. We're not going to stop yet. <laughs> Help me, Edna. I'm hallucinating. What did you see this time? I saw Mattis with the Prince of Darkness, and they... Wait a second. Are those voices? There really is somebody on the porch. You stay here. I'll go have a look. I think the two of them would make a nice couple. I could well imagine a future for them. Your daughter? My son? Ha! <laughs> One would have to recondition her thoroughly. Edna lacks all respect and is full of defiance. But aren't you on the verge of a breakthrough in the field of... what do you call it? Correction of character. That's exactly what your daughter needs. After one of those treatments, there might still be a way she could... Oh, um, could you excuse me for a moment? Hmm. What's this all about, Edna? You know full well you're supposed to be in your room. I know, but... No buts. The doctor is right. You're in serious need of a correction of character. Oh, please don't, no. Dad. I don't want to... We'll speak about this later. Right now, you go back to your room. I'm pretty mad at you, young lady. And by the way, try being nicer to Alfred, will you? Nicer to Alfred? <laughs> don't he make me He was nicer laugh. to us than maybe. Shut up, Harvey. It's your fault, after all. What were all those lies supposed to mean anyway? I've been thinking it over, and basically, it's pretty simple. It's not my fault at all. I'm just a figment of your imagination, remember? So why wonder if I'm a little... 
Well, inaccurate every once in a while. Especially when it comes to observations you couldn't possibly have made yourself. Inaccurate is something different to completely and utterly absurd. Are you mad at me now? Oh, Harvey, mm -hmm. I can't be mad at you. Aren't you? I read your diary. Harvey this and Harvey that, and Alfred is always the stupid toad, isn't he? But that will soon stop. I'll tell it all to my dad, and they'll take that stupid rabbit away from you. They might even lock you up in Dad's asylum with the other loonies. That's where you belong in my book. Oh, Edna sure. Edna talks to her ragdoll rabbit. Edna talks to her ragdoll rabbit. Please, Alfred, don't. Help me, Edna. He's hurting me. What'll I do? Push him. What? Push him. Just push him. Push him down the stairs. We were the ones who killed him, didn't we? Our dad took the blame. Oh my god, this really is so sad. <sighs> oh no. Now I can remember everything. It was me who killed Alfred. It, it was in the heat of the moment. I couldn't let him take Harvey away from me. Ooh. Yes, it was you. You killed my son. Your father took the blame to protect you. I promised him that I would take care of you. But I asylum. only saw one way of doing that. I tried to create you anew. Like a blank sheet of paper on which to start a new story. To erase all your... Tom Foolery. That wouldn't make us I nearly us succeeded anymore. on many occasions, but you always found a way back to your memories. It's only now that I understand the root of the problem. Your ragdoll rabbit, Harvey. He is the anchor that moors you to the past. If you destroy him, you can finally live in peace without guilt. Don't listen to him! He'll destroy everything that is you! All your creativity! All that fun! Look, he's standing in the exact same spot oh his son my was! Gosh. Just we... a little push, and we'll be free at last! Where are we gonna go? He's the only one who knows of our guilt! Oh no. What are we... But what are what we gonna do? What will I do? Oh my gosh. Um. Alright. Um. So Harvey makes a good point, and if we listen to him. If we listen to the doctor, I mean. We will lose a piece of us that is fun and all that. But the doctor is also right that Harvey is really affecting us. That little subconscious piece of our minds. Um, just because we've been listening to Harvey the whole game, let's go with him. With the pogo hammer. Oh god. Edna did not go back to the asylum. Police searched for the confused girl for weeks. The search effort was aborted after the remains of a blue stuffed rabbit were found at sea. Uh, the keymaster was also never found. Mo 
Hody went back to the asylum alone. After two weeks without Hody, he was declared mentally sane and released. Overjoyed, he accepted a job as a bank teller. On the second day, he was shot in a robbery. Bladder felt an urge to go to the toilet on his way back to the asylum. At the rest stop, he met the love of his life and ran away with her. Aw, at least someone got a happy ending. The player never figured out what hit him. Oh. Okay. So is that Alright, well looks like that's the end of the game. I hope you all enjoyed it. I did. That was good. Oh. Now we have music playing in the background. Okay. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this and this is over. I will see you all in a new series then. Bye everyone!